couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn two hand tapping, soloing, composition, and improvisation. It's a lot easier than you think it is, let me start with that, and I'm gonna show you the ins and outs, the techniques, everything you have to know uh, in order to perform two hand tapping, soloing, and improvisation on the guitar. We're gonna start with drop D tuning. <laughs> And then later on, after we've learned two hand tapping, we're gonna tune the guitar into an alternate tuning, into an open tuning, and then I'm gonna show you how everything applies to an open tuning as well. It's pretty much the same, just slightly, slightly different. Okay, so um, before we jump into the lesson, I wanna mention that this lesson is sponsored yet again by Skillshare, because Skillshare apparently love licking riffers, and last month they sponsored another lesson, and that apparently was a huge success, so they approached me to sponsor another one and give 500 more of you free two months of premium membership for Skillshare. So Skillshare, if you don't know, is a website and an app for smartphones for video courses, learning via video courses. It's got everything, everything, just literally everything from music to photography to um, graphic design to drawing to painting to coding to building websites to video editing, just everything. Everything is on Skillshare. Everything you wanna learn, anything, it's there with a video course. So click the link below in the description. The first 500 to do so will get two full months of free premium membership to Skillshare. I gotta warn you, it's addictive, okay? It's addictive, I got addicted to it myself for a while. I just couldn't stop watching courses and it's just, a lot of fun. You just watch videos and learn. Um, what else is there to do in life? Uh, so um, click the link below in the description, grab your two months of free premium membership. And then, or before you do that, um, tune the sixth string down to D, okay? To get a drop D tuning, okay? okay? Drop D, sixth string down to D. Now, we're gonna start with this hand, okay? The uh, right hand, okay? Unless you're lefty, uh, of course. The picking hand is used to play a bass line. And you don't have a lot of choice, okay? Uh, especially if you're in D, okay? Or in open tuning. Usually you play over D major, and if you wanna play a little bit of blues, you just add an extra chord. Now, you use a finger to um, either play the open, okay, the open uh, D5 chord, okay, which is the A and uh, E bass string, which is now a D string, okay, so you can, okay, you can pick it once, okay, it's not cheating, you can pick the, the, the first chord, or you can, okay, play a tapping, uh, a slap harmonic on 12, okay, and then you get a D, and you start. Okay, by playing a solo with this hand. Now, the real technique here is using this hand. Because this hand, all it does is play chords. You can play single note bass notes. Okay, with nine, seven, five, and then, okay, pick it down to D again, or, okay, slap again. Or you can tap both the A and E bass string, which again, is now a D string. Okay, you can tap both of them to create a power chord. Okay. okay, and you can play a groove as well. Okay, you can slide. Okay. okay and then you can um, pick it again. Okay, you can pick it to create distortion if you like, but don't do that. Because it can get the guitar of tune. Okay. Okay, just slightly. Okay. You can slide from five to nine. 9 to 7, okay, 7 to 5. And um, this is in D major, okay? Um, if you want to go to D minor, you can play 10, 8, 7, 5, and 3, okay? Okay? I know that it sounds bad out of context, but when I, once I start soloing, you'll see that it, it makes sense. So... Practice this first. Okay, and then you can tap. Okay, that's the bass line. Now, um, I must say that it never, ever, ever sounds 
um, sound wise, this never sounds rich in tone because the, the hit itself doesn't have as much frequency as picking notes. Okay, so you have to, uh, this is a compromise. Okay, this is a compromise because the bass notes will not sound pristine. Okay, the, that's where the, the soloing comes along. Uh, that's where you actually have a chance to shine solo-wise because the bass notes will always sound a little bit off. But that's a part of the, of the two hand tapping genre. Okay, so um, let's start with D major because that's the majority, <laughs> pun unintended, of what you're gonna play. Now, you always have to tap the first note. So, okay, you have, uh, you have five, three, and two on the second string. Okay, you're gonna have to hammer on a lot okay, and also pull off okay and also slide so okay you tap the first note and then you pull off okay so you can do five three and then uh, you know two three okay it doesn't matter if your first note is weak okay the hammer-ons add uh, dynamics okay you can start from three two and zero okay so on the second string you have two three and Five. Okay, and you can slide to seven. You can slide down, and then pull off to two, and then uh, hammer on to three. So, okay, you can do this. Okay, it's all continuous, continuous lines. And on the uh, third string, you have two and four, and the same on the fourth, and the same on the fifth. Okay, so this is a really convenient scale. You have two and three on the second, and then on the third, fourth, and fifth strings, you have two and four. Okay. Okay, so, and on, on the fifth string, you can do four, five, seven as well. Okay. You can slide to nine as well, if you like. And basically the same on the fourth. Four, five, seven, and also nine, if you like. And on the third, you have four and six, okay? So it's zero, two, four, six. And also seven and nine. So um, it's basically the same notes all the way through strings three to five, but it's six instead of five on the third string, okay? So uh, once you get that under your fingers, okay, again, okay? On the second string, you have seven, five, three, two, zero. On the third, you have nine, seven, six, four, two, and zero. Okay, practice this with hammer-ons and pull-offs from the from the get-go. Okay, um, and on the uh, fourth and fifth, you have nine, seven, five, okay, four. Okay, every time you want to add a little bit of dynamics, hammer on a note. Okay, and, um, and two and zero. So zero, two, four, five, seven, nine on strings four and five. You can also cheat and pick the open string. Okay, and then hammer on the two. Okay, you can also... Uh, do two and zero on the sixth string. Okay, just uh, you know, as a part of a line, if you like. Okay, if you want, you can do two and four on the third, fourth, fifth strings, and then two zero on the sixth string. Okay, um, I did two four two zero, and then four on the next string. Then I did the same thing. Right, so once you're ready, play a chord on the sixth string. You can start from D and then start a solo. Okay, now I suggest you start slow. Okay, I play seven and then five. And then I slide to seven if I like. And then I pull off to D. And then nine. And then 
to open string, then I play five. And then I do what I just showed you. Okay, I'm just improvising here, using everything I showed you, everything you just practiced. Okay, and uh, you can, everyone who plays this wants to do uh, fast line. Okay, just the notes of each string pulled off to zero. Okay, so you can do that if you like, but I think it's slightly uncreative because everybody does it. Okay, and it, it, it just, there's nothing you can really do with it. Okay. It gets tired really fast, so do it if you like, but I prefer creating lines. Okay, so hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, okay, that's my secret weapon here. Um, but you can, you can do it if you want, I just think that it gets tired really fast. Okay, try to create a rhythm out of the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay, and exaggerated vibrations. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, you, ha you can have uh, uh, 10, 8, and uh, 7 on the second string. Okay, but it's hard to, to pull, to hammer onto them. Okay, so, okay, if you're on zero, you can slide to them, okay, to them uh, if you like. Uh, or you can play them on the first string. Okay, 5, 3, 2, and 0. Okay, but the problem is that the thinner the string, um, the lower the, the, the volume. Okay, as opposed to... Okay, because they're thicker strings, so it's easier to get a sound out of them. Okay, that's the logic. Okay, so experiment with it. Okay, you can re repeat the same line. I'm just playing uh, three, two, and seven on the second string. Okay, I'm just using the, the basic scale notes. I'm just creating a groove out of the lines instead of uh, trying to fit in as many notes as possible. Uh, Okay, you can pull off the zero on the first string if you like. Because then you can really pull off and create dynamic. You see? It's easy to create melodies. Okay, and now if you want to cross the major, you play three, but then the scale changes and you have Okay, you have a pentatonic scale. So on the third string you have two and zero, okay, but you don't have four, you have five. Okay, because it's, uh, because it's pentatonic now, okay, and then you have three and zero on strings four, five, and six. You can have three and five as well. Okay, so and remember you have ten and eight. And then you can go back to major. Okay, and finish on D again. Okay, the open sixth and fifth strings. Okay, and you play with this. Now this is basically all you can do. Okay, with two hand tapping. 
Unless, again, you get crazy and you start playing continuous harmonics. Yeah, yeah, continuous hammer-ons and pull-offs and just getting crazy and... Um, okay, or again, just single notes to open string. Right, uh, so you can also play the pentatonic scale if you're on okay, if you're on the um, the minor scale. Okay, with three, okay, you can do um, okay, you can do you can do uh, six and eight on the second string, and seven on the third, and you can have ten and eight on strings one and two. Okay, uh, so you kind of have the pentatonic scale there. Okay, you can also um, you can also bend. Okay, but okay, you don't want to overdo it again, just because of the dynamic problem. Um, okay, okay, spelling tune. All right, so uh, if you tune to um, open D sus tuning, dad gad. Okay, you have D A B already. You have G as well. You have. Oh, right, it's fine. Um, you have A on the second string, so. Just tune it down to A. And the E string goes down to D. So you have, you have this. Now, uh, the good thing about this is. It's the same frets. It's two and four on all the strings, okay? You also have five, um, just on the third string it creates a blues note, okay, not the blue note, but a blues note, okay, um, it's out of the minor scale, so if you don't want five, play six on the third string, okay, and then you get a mode, but again, you have the next uh, string for that, okay, so um, try that, just two and four. Okay, on all the strings. Okay, and if you're on minor by mistake, okay, then four wouldn't work, but three will, because if you have three on each uh, string, just three and zero, okay, you have the pentatonics here. Gesundheit. Yeah, you have three and two if you like. Okay, and remember, you don't have to do chords all the time. You can just do single notes. And if you do single notes, you can do slide. Okay, you can. Back to major. this and click the link below in the description for two free months of premium membership for Skillshare. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this and uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks.